guys! So today I'm going to be doing my November favorites and I'm really excited to be doing this video because I have a lot of really great stuff that I kind of discovered or rediscovered this month so I'm just going to jump right in. So the first thing is my Maybelline Color Elixir and it's in the color Signature Scarlet. It's what I'm wearing on my lips right now. I'm not wearing anything else. It's just a really super pigmented red gloss and it's very moisturizing and I find that even if I'm like drinking something it does still kind of stay on my lips a little bit better than a normal gloss so it's great and it's just it's amazing I seriously love this stuff and I can't wait to buy more colors but I'm gonna wait until after Christmas to do that um, so yeah I really really recommend these color elixirs and I can't wait to buy more next product is my all-time favorite winter blush I wore this all the time last year the one that I had then actually shattered so I had to buy a new one this year and it's the Wet n Wild Blush in Mellow Wine. It's just the perfect kind of plum, um, rosy, deep color. And I absolutely love it. It's just a really, really amazing, super pigmented blush. I love all of the Wet n Wild blushes. They're all incredible. So I highly recommend picking up not only this one, but all of them. Because they're really affordable and really pigmented and just amazing colors. Next up I have a concealer. Now it's not just this concealer that's been a favorite but it's just how I've been using it. Um, I've just been, okay first of all, tell the concealer that I'm using. It's the Hard Candy Glamouflage and I use the lightest shade and I like it because it has this really tiny squeeze tube um, applicator I guess you would call it. So what I do is I just take a tiny bit, I let a tiny bit come out and then I drag it on over top of my brow as well as kind of on the inner part of it and then underneath and then what I do is I take one of two brushes it just kind of depends on how sharp I want it to be if I want a really super defined brow I'll use this brush it's from Coastal Scents and it's just like this tapered um, duo fiber brush but it's very dense amazing for blending out concealer anywhere not just there but like under the eyes you know spot spot concealing it's amazing if I want kind of a more blended, natural look and not such a harsh line against my brows, then I use this brush, which is also from Coastal Scents, and it's just their um, synthetic blending brush. It's amazing for concealer. I have like three of these brushes, two for my eyes and then one for concealer. So it's great. I love it. Highly recommend. And just so you know, I think the sale might still be on when this video goes up. I'm not sure. But for Black Friday, they had an entire week of their entire entire website being half off. So these brushes are already super cheap. So half off an already cheap uh, price is amazing. And I highly recommend you guys go check them out. Okay, so for my last makeup favorite, it's actually been another Coastal Sense thing. And it's this palette. Now this is a palette that I chose all the colors for and put them in myself when it arrived. It's just their 28 pan palette and what I did was all except for like five of the colors in here are from Coastal Scents. The other ones are a couple of MAC shades that didn't have magnets on the back because I depotted them and then a few others are some discontinued Annabelle shadows that also don't have magnets. So I've just been really loving this because you can customize it. These shadows are regular $2 each. And with the half off sale, they're like 98 cents. It's insane. And I, you best believe that I ordered more on that on that half off sale that will be coming in this week. But these were ordered around the middle of the month. And some of these are so pigmented. It's insane. And I kind of want to do a video once I get all the shadows here. Just kind of like my favorites. And maybe like ones that you should maybe avoid and not bother purchasing. Um, but the ones that I really want to talk about are this shade in Vanilla Sky. It's very similar to Max Floof, but it's just more kind of a beigey highlight. It's a very shimmery color. Not sure if you'll be able to see that, but I'll, I'll do close-up swatches as well. The next one that I've been loving is called Chamois Nude, and this is just a skin tone color, it's matte, it's great for just kind of highlighting your brow bone if you don't want to um, if you don't want to put anything shimmery up there and it's also great for doing like a pinup look for putting that all over your lid 
amazing. Um, and then another color that really stood out to me is their black. And I never use black shadows because they're often very like chalky, and I'm talking like matte shadows. Very chalky, patchy, not super pigmented. That's not true with this one. Okay, I'm going to show you. So, it's right here. One swipe, barely touching. Look at how black that is. Isn't that insane? And it swatches beautifully. It's just, it's way better than matte carbon. So, if you're looking for a great matte black color that's super pigmented, very blendable, definitely check this one out. It's fantastic. And then one other color that I just kind of want to give a special mention to is this one right here. It's called Chocolatier and it is very 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 similar to MAC Sketch except it's a complete matte shade and it's a little less purple, a little more brown, but it still has that purple undertone. So if you're looking for something like that, a dollar to two dollars and this is it. And they also sell um, different size palettes. So they have just individual ones like like if you went to buy a MAC shadow and you didn't want it in pan form, it's like that little plastic container. And then they also have 4 pan, I think 12 pan, and then the 28 pan. So I am in love with these shadows, basically. Um, yeah, so highly recommend Coastal Scents. I think they're called Hot Pots. So yes, go check them out because they are amazing and they have like almost every single color you could ever want. Okay, so I have two hair care favorites, not hair care, I guess hair styling, and the first one is the Tresemme Tray 2 Ultra Fine Mist Hairspray. This is the level 3 hold, 3 out of 5, and it is an ultra fine mist, which is what I love about it. It doesn't make my hair crunchy, because for this style, I want it to be very, like, natural looking and very, like, um, just very bouncy, not crunchy. I can run my fingers through it, and it's just great, so been loving that um, hairspray and if you want to know how I got these curls I honestly just took my flat iron and went in different directions that's what I did so yeah <laughs> um, and then the other hair care product that I've been loving I've had this thing forever and I'm almost out so I have to go buy a new one soon it's the Chi Shine Infusion, Shine Infusion Thermal Polishing Spray just adds a beautiful shine to your hair never apply this to your roots because it will make you look super greasy but it just makes your hair look super shiny. It smells amazing. So it's like perfume for your hair. It smells so good. Like I would just put this in my hair all the time because it smells so good. Not even, I don't even care about the shine. It just smells amazing. Okay, and scent of the month is just my signature winter scent and that's the Bath & Body Works Secret Wonderland, which I'm not even sure you can get anymore because in the stores near me, they had none of like any of the Secret Wonderland products. But on the American website, they had a few things, so I'm not sure, but I have like four of these. I have like two big bottles and then a couple small bottles of the body spray, so I'm not too concerned. I have a lot. Um, it just smells very good. It's like vanilla and berries, but it's just such a winter scent to me because the scent actually came out around this time, about two or three years ago. I think like three years ago. And... Um, that's when I started wearing it. it, was in the winter, so it's just kind of been a winter scent. And then this, the name just sounds like wintry, like Secret Wonderland, like Winter Wonderland. Okay, so I do have a YouTuber favorite of the month, and that's Kara's Life Vlogs, and they are just such a real down-to-earth couple slash family. They have a little girl, and she's pregnant with another one on the way. I don't, I don't think she said whether it's a girl or a boy yet, but they're just so fun to watch, just so, like, I don't know, he's just like, you're like a normal family. It's just really nice. And um, yeah, so I've just been loving their vlog. She actually has a, a makeup channel as well, and that's how I found her vlog channel. And I think it's Kara Emily 3 I'll have both of her channels linked below, but I absolutely adore her. She's just so cute, and her daughter is adorable. So yeah, go check them out because they're just really fun to watch. So I have two drink favorites of the month and the first one is my Caramel Macchiato for my Tassimo. I haven't actually been using my Tassimo much for the past few months, but this month I picked up the Caramel Macchiato package and I've just been using it a lot more recently, so I'm really excited about that. And yeah, it's just really great for in the mornings on the way to work. Um, it's got coffee, but it's not like 
coffee coffee, you know what I mean? So I just, I've been really enjoying that. And also, I've been loving my 4 o'clock gingerbread tea, which has been so good and just, it smells like Christmas. Like, I make this at work and people can smell it outside of my office. They're like, it smells really good in here. And I'm like, it's my gingerbread tea. <laughs> so I highly recommend going and trying to find that at a local store. I believe on their website they have it listed like where they sell it so go check that out. And last things are my two favorite TV shows of the month. Um, kind of like new discoveries. So the first one is Rain which is on um, M3 in Canada. That's like a new channel. It used to be much more music. Now it's just M3. Um, it's just like it's kind of like Pretty Little Liars and Game of Thrones mixed. It's just incredible. I am absolutely hooked and I am so bummed out that this past weekend every show like or this past week every show like took a break for Thanksgiving. It's like I'm in Canada I don't have Thanksgiving just show me my shows. But yeah so I've been loving that show and the other one that I've been loving I've already finished the entire first season. Um, it's on Netflix and it's called Hemlock Grove. Now just a warning it is like a little bit gruesome but I mean, I can't really handle gross things, and this one was like, I was okay with it. Um, like, it's about like werewolves and vampires, but it's not like um, Vampire Diaries vampires. It's like actual like Romanian vampires. It's really really cool, and I was excited because Wendy Darling is on it, and she's it's the girl that plays Wendy on um, Once Upon a Time. And also Declan from Degrassi is on it and he's one of the main guys. He plays a werewolf. So I absolutely love that. I've been loving that show. And there's this one scene at the end of I think the second episode where it actually shows him like transforming into a werewolf and it's so cool to watch. It's like inc it's insane the things that they can do now um, like with TV and effects and things. Like you actually see like his skin like spreading to reveal like the wolf underneath or whatever it's just it's really cool I mean it's it, if you're really really squeamish then I wouldn't watch it but I'm pretty squeamish and I could watch it just because I was like hey like that's pretty cool that they can make it look that real so yeah um just been loving that show and yeah I think that's all I have for my November favorites I didn't have a ton of things but I had quite a few so I hope that you guys enjoyed this video and oh last thing I am starting vlogmas kind of I think um I have like almost 10 minutes of footage just from today um today's de December 1st so I'm thinking I'm gonna post vlogmas every morning and then if I have a video for that day that'll go up in the afternoon so if you're watching this video then vlogmas day one will already be uploaded and on my channel I do have a vlog channel but I haven't like announced it or anything so I think I'm just going to keep everything on this channel for a while and then maybe later down the road like next year when I do vlogmas I'll put it on that channel instead. But yes for this year it's going to be on this channel and I'm really excited to do vlogmas because I'm just so in the Christmas spirit this year and I think it's because I've got a lot of my Christmas shopping done really early so I'm just very like stress free about Christmas right now. and. Um, yeah, I'm like probably 70% done my shopping. Like I'm I'm pretty close. I'm getting there. So I'm really excited. And yeah, uh, let me know if you had any favorites this month or if you posted your own November favorites video. Link it down in the comments below because now you can put links to your videos in the comments. And I will talk to you guys in my next one. Bye.